One of the more common trends that we see in the engraving industry is that everyone, a lot of the companies that we deal with have to have the products that they're producing to be serialized or barcoded. Grell Draw can do barcoding for you uh, and this is, they have a wizard within the actual program itself. However, a lot of times what you're going to find is, is that companies have preset numbers that you're going to get in an Excel spreadsheet. You're going to need to take that Excel spreadsheet and using the print merge, you're going to need to be able to merge those numbers from the Excel spreadsheet into Corel Draw so you can do a multiple. Now the problem is, is that the customer is going to give you a spreadsheet that says something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, you have to use the, the appropriate barcode font and then have that converted into a barcode. Corel Draw can't do this natively. So what we have to do is we actually have to figure out what font we need to use and then we need to download that font from the internet. So let's take a look at how we download the font from the internet. When we're looking for free barcode fonts, the easiest thing to do is just open up your web browser, go into the search function, type in free barcode font, and just pull up some websites and see if you can find a free font. Now you can see that I've got a number of different fonts here. I've got a barcode 39, completely free. I've got a barcode 128, uh, it's a free font. Uh, so again, there's a number of fonts here that you can download and use. The only problem when you're downloading free font fonts is just the question of whether they're the right fonts. So what I suggest you do if you do download a font and you're doing work for your customer, it might be worth your while just to do a sample for them on, say, anodized aluminum, black anodized aluminum, and just send it over to the customer and confirm that it's a font that works with their scanner. So. So here's a font right here. Download the free barcode 39 font. Here you go. You got a Mac and you got a Windows version. So let's download the Windows version. Save the file. And you can see that it's downloaded. Then I can go in into my Windows Explorer. I know it's in my documents download there it is right there just right click on it and we can just say extract here and there's your font right there so all you really need to do now is go ahead and open up bitstream font navigator and we'll get that font into Windows With the Bitstream Font Navigator program opened up, we can now access the fonts that we've installed on the hard drive. One thing to note about the Bitstream Font Navigator program is it's just a catalog or a database program that shows all the fonts that are installed on our hard drive through one interface. So it doesn't really matter where the fonts are on the hard drive, we just see them under one window. This makes it a lot easier when we have a number of fonts that are installed throughout our hard drive. The fonts on the left are the fonts that are installed on the hard drive. The fonts in the right hand window are the fonts that are installed in the windows. One note, try to keep this number below 600 because the more fonts you install in the windows, the more memory that you use up. So try to keep this number, say, below 600. So I know some people like 900, but 600 is pretty good. I'm sure it's very difficult to use any more than 30 or 40 fonts at a time. And if you know this program really well, you can install and uninstall fonts very quickly. So first thing that we have to do is we have to go and find those fonts that are on the hard drive so that Bitstream Font Navigator can install those into its catalog. To do this, we go to File, Find Fonts. Now, we know the fonts were installed into my documents, so I'm just going to search that directory and select OK. And now we've installed the font directly into the program.
To access that font, all we have to do is type in the name of the font to go down there. I know the font is called free, three of nine, so I can type F-E-E, -E, and there it is right there. Now, once we have it installed, notice here that we get a rendition of the font in the bottom, bottom right-hand window. Now, if we, if we grab a normal font, basically says the quick brown fox jump, well, that's sort of shown right here, but in a barcode. Now to install that font in Windows, all we have to do is just right click on the font, font and say install fonts. And notice I get a check mark beside the font which tells me now that it's installed in Windows. And there it is right there. So if I click down, I'm going to put the extended one into, I'm going to right click and install the font. And now I have both of them in here. This font has two types of fonts installed with it because the free three of nine includes all the characters that are necessary for the barcode along with a couple of our standard symbols such as the dollar sign and the percent sign. The extended covers all our ASCII characters that are in a standard font. So really kind of depends on which characters you need dependent on which version of the font that you're going to install. So now that we've installed the font in Windows, we can shut down the Bitstream Font Navigator. File, exit, and we're done. Now that we've installed the font into Windows, we can access that font in CorelDRAW. To be able to access the font, all we have to do is type in our text and then we'll assign that text the barcode font. This is probably the easiest thing for training because you can see what I type and then you can see me change the font. Very simple, very straightforward. So let's type in the text. I'm going to select the text tool here in the toolbox. Left click, click on the desktop. Now most scanners require the star symbol to be at the beginning of the word well, of the line and, and the star symbol at the end. So let's type it in. And type in the star and then let's do A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, and then a star symbol. Now we can select that text and we can come up to our font and we know it's free, F R E E. And there it is right there. Again, we can either do the standard barcode font or the extended one, whichever one we want. Let's just do the standard one. And there's my font right there. So notice how I had it typed in in, in normal text. And then I just by selecting the barcode 39, the font turns automatically into the barcode. So that's very easy on how to generate a barcode quickly in CorelDRAW. Remember, you need to know what font that the scanner that you're going to be creating for is using so that you can use the appropriate font. We will look more carefully later at how we can use this barcode font in Excel provided sheets from our customer. We can't do this with a standard barcode font wizard that's in CorelDRAW, but we can do it when we actually have the font installed in Windows so that we can use it in CorelDRAW. Let's say a customer comes in, they want us to generate a barcode, and they want that barcode to be serial numbered. So just to make it simple, let's just do something like 100, 101, 102, 103. We can easily create this in the print merge wizard that's available in X3, X4, X5. So let's go to File, Print Merge, Create Load Merge Fields, and I'm going to create new text. In our next example, we'll actually work with an imported Excel spreadsheet, but for now we're just going to create it right inside CorelDRAW. Click Next. Now we want a numeric field, not a text field. So I'm going to call that number just to give a descriptive name and then select add. Select number and let's say we want a starting value of 
100 and we want an ending value of let's say uh, let's say 175 so we're going to go 101 102 103 104 click next and notice here I've got a number of continuous numbers selected here where we where we go incrementally 101 102 103 104 click next click finish and I've got my floating print merge toolbar that shows up in my document now I've done a 1 by 3 plate here we're going to take this 1 by 3 put a serial number on each 1 by 3 plate and then we're going to multiply it on a 12 by 24 sheet just to give you kind of a layout of how it would be set up in a multiple format so I'm going to insert the number field make sure that it's center justified and we're going to move it over wherever we, we need to put it in and then we're going to go P just to make sure that it's in the center and then we're going to change this font to the barcode font that we want now notice that nothing is selected but don't worry the merge field is still there so now what we're going to do is we're just going to say merge to new document and you can see that I've created 76 pages and each page has its own barcode now that we've created the barcode we can actually just go up now and do our multiple using the imposition command so I'm going to go to file print I'm going to go to Preferences, set my driver for 24 by 12, select OK. I'm going to go to Layout. I'm going to select the Imposition command, go to Edit. Now I've got a 12 by 24 size multiple sheet here with a bunch of small 1 by 3s. So I can get 8 across because that's 8 times 3 which is 24. So we can go 8 here and then I can go 12 here because I've got a 1 inch high plate and I've got a 12 inch high multiple plate. So I can go 12 here and notice now I filled up the whole page. Now I've only got 76 plates so I'm not going to fill up the whole page because a standard 12 by 24 holds 96 1 by 3s. But I can take a look at this by clicking on the, the template document preview and there's all my barcodes that are laid out in my 12 by 24. So now all I have to do is just print that and then off I go. So it's quite easy to create a, a matrix with our barcode as long as we have the actual barcode font installed in Windows so that we can use an in Corel draw. Using the print merge is a very easy way of importing all that data into the into Corel Draw so they can do it in one big job. Our next test will be actually then, now to take an Excel spreadsheet and then what we will do is we will import that using the print merge function so that we don't have to type in anything. Our customer does all the work for us. Okay, with Corel Draw open, let's take a look at a serial number file that I have on my computer here and let's import this into Corel Draw using the print merge function. First of all, let's just take a look and make sure that the setup field is done properly. So I'm going to open up the file and here's my file here. Now notice I really need to have a header on here that indicates the type of data field that I'm bringing in. So I'm just going to type in number just so we have a descriptive name here because remember in the print merge function it will Corel will always use the first cell as a descriptive name. So I'm just going to right click on here and I'm going to insert an entire row and I'm going to call it number. Now I'm going to save the file just call it number test. So 
let's shut down that worksheet and let's open up a new job in Corel. I'm going to do, a, and again, I'm going to do a 3 by one Select OK. Go File, Print Merge. I'm going to import text from a file. It's going to be an ODBC data source. Select the source, machine data site type. It's going to be Excel file. Select OK. And my file is on. And there it is right there, number test. Column is number. Select OK. Go next. It's a number. Next. And there's all my numbers right there. Select next. Finish. Now, I just have to say insert the number into the file. Make sure that it's center justified. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the page. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to sign the barcode font to it. And I'm going to say merge to new document. And notice that I now have all my pages with all the serial numbers in it. I can just go file, print, I'm going to go on to a 12 by 24 sheet. Select OK. I'm going to go to Layout, Edit. And I can, I've got a 24 inch by 12 inch multiple plate, so I can get eight across, that's eight times three, which is 24. And then this one is gonna be 12, because it's one inch high plate on a 12 by 24. So there we go. Preview the job, and there's all my serial numbers created in a multiple. So all I need to do now is just print the job in multiple format. So again, very easy to use a customer supplied Excel spreadsheet, as long as I have the font installed in CorelDRAW. Well, in Windows, which I can access in CorelDRAW. So there you go. Very easy to use barcodes in CorelDRAW. The trick again is to figure out what font you need so that the scanner can read it. Once you know the font, then hopefully you can find it for free on the internet. If not, then you may have to pay for it or get it from your customer. Also, find out what format they need it, need it in. Some scanners require that you have the star symbols at the beginning and the end of the text. So make sure you know how the text needs to be set up.